My personal experience with HIV is a very beautiful but sad story. I am a photographer and I've done very well with my career. And there was a model by the name of Andrew Gordon Coates. And he was my main male model for my nude work. And the story that I am sure he will want me to tell is that he was HIV positive, became HIV positive, and he had it tattooed on his bicep. He was half Mexican and half Italian, very, very beautiful, very muscular, very tawny skin, beautiful teeth, wonderful hair, and he was very, very sensual, very, you know, beautiful, and very free, and to a great extent, the HIV freed him. Because what he made a point to do is the minute he became HIV positive, he decided to really live his life to the fullest. He traveled extensively, he worked with a lot of photographers that he wanted to work with, and he did a lot of things that he wanted to do as a human being. Uh, he became a dancer, where as before he was a chiropractor, and he danced all over the world. He did some erotic films, erotic gay films, and he was documented by the major gay photographers in the field of gay male nude photography. And the relationship that he and I had was I documented his beauty, and he was then moved to preserve himself to the best of his ability to be documented because he knew he would not live long. And I was very fortunate I was able to get him on some major covers of major uh, magazines. I was also able to get him, images of him of course, in a major book on gay male nude photography. And he wanted his beauty to be documented. He wanted his story to be told. He wanted very much for people to see him looking and living at his best. And he died like a week before my birthday, like maybe three or four days before my birthday. And I remember our last phone conversation, which I knew would be the last one, and I made sure to tell him that I felt that way, and he agreed with me that it would be the last phone conversation we would have, the last time I would ever speak to him. And he asked me to do my best to have people see him looking his best. And so I'm very grateful to tell this story because I do love him. I will always love him. And when I look at the pictures of him, that is what I see. Someone that loved me enough to share himself with me, his sensuality, his beauty, his freedom, his art. You know, this is what it means to be openly HIV positive. This is what it means to be free on a great level. And I'm very happy to tell this story, and I am sure he's smiling down from heaven and glad that I'm telling this story. My story is very unique with him. And um, thank you. And the opportunity to tell this has been amazing. And I hope you use the story because all HIV stories aren't sad. They're not all tragic. It just has the ability to make sure that you are aware that time is a very precious commodity. Your health is a very precious commodity. Your soul, your humanity is a very, very precious gift. Not even a commodity, a gift, a blessing. And I want everyone to live their best lives to the fullest. And because that's what God gave you grace to do. And that's what he would have you do. God bless you all and thank you very much.